Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the creepy basement here in Aarhus where I live in the well the work days. Um, so I have gotten a subscriber uh, thing in the post and this one I know what it is this is from Lars and Lars saw my video on the Synology box which is up here just outside of view and Lars thought that it was a shame that I only had six gigabytes of RAM in there so he offered to send me another four gigabytes of RAM um, Lars is here from Denmark he's actually from Bilon and Bilon is the city where I was born actually um, they don't have a um, hospital in Bilon so I was born in Grenstel um, but my parents was living in Bilund uh, when I was born and my mom was working at Lego um, putting together boxes of Lego toys so yeah I have lived in Bilund but we moved away when I was two so um, let's see what this RAM box looks like I haven't had it open so this is my first look too there's a letter and there is a um, it's a thinky here that I expect will be the RAM. So let's see what we have here. Two letters. Oh, it's a copy. Oh, there is one in Danish and there is one in English. Okay. Hello, Martin. Watch your YouTube videos about the Synology memory and got the crazy idea that we should really upgrade that two gigabyte memory stick to a four gigabyte memory stick. Um. And he loves the video. Thank you very much, Lars. And he's a Patreon as well. So thank you, Lars, from Bilon. Um, so let's see what he sent here. Ah, there. I got really dark. Face recognition. Thank you very much. So yes, here is a memory block. Um, and it's a four gigabyte stick so we are gonna be installing that awesome okay i have my nas box sitting here on the shelf and a lot of people pointed out that oh we would never be able to get rid of the heat from there because there was not enough air around it yes it's a bit tight we are in a basement it is rather cold down here actually right now there's a nice temperature because the temperature is dropping outside and the basement is behind because of the well it takes longer to heat up and uh, slow down but i am just just happened to be so fortunate to have a thermal camera and we can actually see that the nas is doing really fine it, there is uh, heat coming out the sides here but the air intake of the nas can you see that yeah probably you can it's not bad at all. It um, sucks in the air and it blows it out at the sides. So it's not bad at all. And if I touch it here, it's actually nice and cold. I can feel it, it blowing the air in and I uh, can also feel that the air coming out is slightly warmer. It's not hot. Well, it's it's lovely and warm it's a nice breeze it was also suggested that uh, running eight hard drives in a box like this with a power supply of only 250 watts would not be enough uh, that was far from enough uh, someone has gotten out and gotten a 600 watt power supply to run this um yeah this box runs it uses about 70 watts when it's really working hard uh, it can use a bit more if all the hard drives actually turn on at the same time if you just power it and they all turn on at the same time it would be able to max out that 250 watts power supply but they actually turn them on one at a time okay so here is the Synology box and it's still the Intel Atom C2538 I hope they have done a fix on that because that is the cpu that is um that is failing a lot maybe someone will know if um, if they replace that cpu or if they just 
have another fix but the memory six gigabytes of memory right here uh, i want to share something else finally this youtube premium uh came to denmark uh it used to be called youtube red now it's called youtube premium and i was on it the first day so now i don't have to watch ads on youtube anymore i know there are such things as ad blocker but but i think it would be unfair for me to use that when i am um, put ads on my videos myself so um, we're gonna shut this down uh, where is that that's up here and we're just gonna shut it down shut down I hope it gets up again and we're gonna put in that memory block and see what happens there we are and this is a piece of cake because we put the memory block that we're gonna be replacing right there so we're gonna put this one in from from Lars. Let's see the one we're taking out. This is a DDR3 1600, two gigabytes. I think it's okay. It's a it's a good. I'm gonna keep it around because if uh, anything goes wrong with the box <clears throat> and I need to ship it over there again, and I need it. So I think we will just tape it onto there. But well, let's put this one in and make sure that it works before we do well, before we do that. Let's have a close up. There. So let's put that in. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. There is. Well, let's see if it works before I say that actually. So. There. Okay. I mounted the um, original RAM here, so um, it's uh, closer at hand if I need it. So let's close this up again and see if it runs. Okay, this is unfortunate. It doesn't seem like that RAM block is working in the NAS. Um, I have been waiting for this probably 20 minutes and it's not coming up, it's just blinking. So I'm sure that it's, uh, it's just telling me that, oh, there's something wrong that RAM block you just put in I'm not happy with that so well I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna remove that again okay we're up and running again I uh, took the four gigabyte block out and I put the two gigabyte block in again yeah here it is it's a shame that it didn't work I could have used the more RAM I don't know if everybody knows this but these Synology boxes are not just a NAS they can do a lot of stuff one of the things they can do is they can actually run virtual machines. So if you have, I have only those six gigabytes of memory. Uh, this box can handle up to 16 gigabytes of memory. Kind of there, it's only meant to, to go up to eight, but it will also take two eight gigabyte blocks if you get the right ones. Uh, and with those, uh, you can load virtual machines on here. I have been playing with a, free pbx server on here that's for a telephone system ip phones like this one i never got this project working so you haven't really seen it but i did load it as a virtual appliance box here on the synology nas giving it a gigabyte of memory and two cores i think there is only two cores here i'm not sure or is this a quad core i forget so yeah so thank you very much to Lars for sending me this four gigabyte block unfortunately it does not work in my Synology NAS shame I got a lot of comments that why don't I just use a regular server just take some good server hardware or some good PC hardware and make my own NAS and stuff and well I did that for many years and I ran novel netware on it and then when I got tired of novel netware I actually went and I made a virtual machine and and ran free NAS on that and then in 2011 I got my first Synology NAS instead um, and I haven't looked back since then uh, only downside I have experienced to date was the time that the service took for me to get a uh, this box repaired when it broke down a couple of weeks back um, Otherwise, the hardware is great, uh, the system there is great, 
I got a new box I put in the old discs I was up and running within five minutes. That's fine. I don't really want a server here. I want something that I don't have to mess with too much. And then I mess with it anyway. But well, whatever. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.